Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And with me today, I have got the Commonwealth Super Flyweight Champion from Sheffield, Super Tommy Frank. How are you doing, Tommy? Well, I'm alright mate, how are you? Looking well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you had some breakfast this morning, Tommy? A little bit of breakfast, a couple of boiled eggs and a coffee, yeah. Make so, it wait easy? Yeah, well, as easy as it can be, mate. I'll make, I'll make it correctly. I've just been told you can make flyweight if you want. I'd, I'd have a go, I'd have a go, but do you know, do you know what, do you know what, I mean, su super flyweight for me, is, it's been a, it's been the perfect weight, you know, and um, and don't, don't get me wrong, it's, it's never easy making the weight, but because of the way I live my life, the way I'm always in the gym, I do it as easy as, as I can, but it's, it's never easy, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big super fly, so. Brilliant. Alright, well, uh, this is opponent you've got tomorrow. What's his, what's his name again? John Chua. John Chua. John Chua, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's no mug, is he? No, he's not. You know, obviously, we had a bit of a. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what happened with, with opponent. Yeah, I meant to be well, boxing. Back to yeah, well, I, you know, we had, we had an opponent, and then I think, I don't know whether it were Tuesday this week, very, very short notice. I don't know whether he's gone to come over and he's got something wrong with, with his visa, so he, he was out. But thankfully, you know, Dennis and team managed to get me. Uh, another Tanzanian, John Chu, he's, he's actually got a, a better record than the kid who I was boxing. He's actually a, he's a tougher fight. Um, unfortunately, it, I, I'm not defending my Commonwealth. It was, it was a little bit too short notice, and I think John's coming off of uh, a loss. So the, the Commonwealth are very, um, you know, they, they like to know what's what, and, and you know, so they won't they won't actually sanction it for the Commonwealth. But in in my head, I'm still defending my Commonwealth. I'm yeah. still I'm still champion, still yeah. top of the bill. So, um, you know, in, in, in my home city, so the way we yeah, go. Well, if, uh, the show's been saved, but Dennis has had to pay out to save yeah, well, it, hasn't that's it, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. it's rather that, or rather we have a fight than not yeah. have a fight, isn't Exactly, it? So of course it is. Out, don't yeah, you? yeah. No, well, I think it's more than a run-out, you yeah, know. It's, God, it's, 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 it's definitely no more than a run-out. No, like I said, in my eyes, excuse me, in my eyes, I'm, I'm still defending my Commonwealth, you know. It's, I've, I've, been, I've trained hard, I've made championship weight. That's it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to touch on after tomorrow, obviously. Uh, all being well, you come through great. Uh, what are me social media talk about? You're going to yeah, yeah. Edwards, yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah. What do you think to that? As, as I've always said, I'd, I'd happily fight Sonny, you know. I mean, um, you know, when, when the fight obviously got, got offered, we, we sat down with Dennis and Glynn and and they think it'll be a, a bigger fight if, if we build it up a bit more, you know. So it's uh, and I, I do understand where, where they're coming from, you know. I mean, it's it's a big night, it's a big fight now for the British title, but it could be, you know, in, in a year or whatever, it could be a, a big fight for who knows what. That's could what be that's. An could well, it? it could be anything, but that, that, that's their thought about it. And, and like I said, me me as a fighter, I'll fight anyone. You want to fight? They, him, don't yeah, you of course they do, of course they do. Yeah. But um, my my career is in England and Dennis's hands and Steve Trump, you know, and. Uh, um, and I'm very, very, very confident in them. So whatever they want to do, that's what we're going to do. And then that's the plan. So the plan is, you know, get this out of the way. And just, just keep building my profile, keep topping building in my own city like I am doing, and uh, keep winning. That's it. Yeah. I think a lot of people in the boxing industry are split on the fight. Some are saying that Dennis and you and Glenn and Steve Crump don't want to take the fight, and others are saying yeah, that yeah, yeah. you want the fight. And there's a bit of politics going on, and it's a bigger fight in another 18 months. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Agree with that, Tommy? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, people are going to have all, all sorts of opinions on what on what's happening. But I've, I've, I'm not lying. I've, I've just told yeah, 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 yeah. told me the truth. Do you know what I mean? So that that's the bottom line of it. But, um, but obviously, you know, tomorrow night that that's the that's the main aim now. Yeah, this one out of way and sit down. Exactly. All right. Then. Well, listen. All the best. I'll let you get off and get some lunch down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Thanks a lot. Man. Thank you very much. All right. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. With me today I have got Josh Whale in his new <laughs> Nike trainers, looking the business. <laughs> how are you doing Josh? Yeah good pal, all good, just weighed in then. So. £125? Yeah. Pound under? Yeah, pound under pal, so, uh, many comfortably. Obviously I've come up from Bantam, Super Bantam, so I uh, yeah, feel strong pal. Right. This is your first fight at Featherweight Josh, isn't it? Yeah, well. In a while. In a while, yeah. yeah. Right, the kid you're fighting has got a massive, massive KO ratio. Yeah. You don't know it, don't you? Yeah, yeah. 
I think his eye's 16, is it? Out of yeah, 19 wins. Yeah, yeah. So you're in with a massive, massive puncher, one of the biggest punchers in the division. What do you think about you fighting at featherweight and Dennis putting in with a big puncher straight away? Yeah, it's good part. Of, this is what we wanted. We wanted a uh, good, good fight for us. This one at featherweight, got one. But I just feel I'm, uh, I'm so much. Uh, our training's gone and everything. Everything's gone well, Paul. So yeah, we're, uh, yeah. we're ready to put a big performance in. You look like a racehorse today, mate. I'm I am ready. <laughs> ready as so I is. So it's me, forty uh, first fight. Yeah, uh, I've had 20 championship fights, it's the 21st championship fight, so yeah, we're yeah. happy pal, we've done it all before. I think the 25, and we've been in the uh, fourth for fight, fights, that type yeah, of fights, yeah. so you've got the experience. Yeah, it's you? been a brilliant career pal, I'm, uh, what I'm very proud of are I've come up to myself and, and gone about my business, but uh, yeah. people will think it's, uh, it's over. We'll find out tomorrow, Paul. Yeah. Well, you get, how old are you now, then, John? 31 now, Just turned 31, yeah. recently. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you don't drink, you don't smoke, no. you don't party, Paul. No. You're just a family man. Yeah. You've got, you've got to do your job, you've got to train, you go on. Yeah. You don't drink alcohol at all, no. do you? No, no, no. You don't even have it in your sauce when you pass it. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't have any spicy food whatsoever, so... so you've got longevity than I yeah. really in your career. I've, I've, listen, Paul, I'm, uh, I've done stuff right, and I have, uh, I've trained hard, and, yeah. you know, it shows tomorrow night, that's where it all comes to, yeah. so, in, in me, yeah. so... And, uh, obviously, the game plan for tomorrow, yeah. this is not going to go out well after the fight, so, the game plan's all sorted. And yeah, yeah, everything, me and my dad... Doing? Me and my dad, he's trained me all my career, we, uh, we're really happy how things have gone this time. Uh, it's been great working with Dennis for the first time. Uh, how's, how's it gone working with the Uslot? Yeah, yeah, it's been, it? yeah, it's been brilliant, Paul. I mean, uh, no, no problems? No, no problems whatsoever. Uh, we're all on the same wavelength, Paul. Uh, you happy with everything? Happy with yeah, also? yeah, everything. No, no, bit, no. Uh, well, well, it's, it's a tough fight, you're in, isn't it? It's yeah. No, it's what we wanted though. Yeah. Uh, like a statement. My dad and Dennis, yourself, we all yeah. started off. We all, we all knew what we were going to do, pal. So, yeah. you know, there's, uh, there's no qualms and I'm ready for a big performance in tomorrow. That's brilliant. Uh, we don't want to look too far ahead because uh, you, we like to get this fight out of the way, but you're going to be happy at February after yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, definitely, before. pal. Yeah. Obviously, keep me eye on ball tomorrow, get a good yeah. win, then we move on, Paul. We're going to sit down in a couple of weeks and look at yeah. what we're doing then. Yeah, where we go, where we go from there. Everything's happy in the whale camp. Everything's happy, the Paul. Household. Yeah, all good. You know, yeah. you look ready to go? Ready, ready to, to go, Paul. Like good, good, good now. Job. Yeah, good, good now. I've seen you at a couple of waves before. Yeah, I've been a bit, yeah. No, to be, to be fair, uh, I was taking, I took too much out of my body, bad to yeah. weight. I was, uh, was going to end up paying myself, so. So, this is where it is, Paul. Uh, you live by your decisions. I'm a featherweight now, and we'll see tomorrow. It all happens in ring. People can talk what they want, they can say what they want, but at the end of the day, it's when bell rings. That's when, yeah. that's when it all comes up. And, and you win to uh, ever fight me wanting, Paul. There's somebody there to have a fight, we'll have a fight, and that's it. Any predictions for the fight, Josh? Uh, no, a big performance by the win. That's all. That's all yeah. made me dead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We go round by round, made me dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, listen. All the best for you tomorrow night. Thank you. Same to your family. Same to your opponent. Thank you, Russ. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big Paul here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And with me, I have got the man himself from Huddersfield, Tyrone Nurse. Former British champion and uh, basically he was a superstar at like welterweight. He's now moved up to welterweight and he's with Dennis Hobson's Fight Academy. How are you doing, Tyrone? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You alright? Looking well? Yeah, excited, ready to go. Looking forward to getting back in the ring and shaking my legs. I believe you're a daddy now, aren't you? Got two, yeah, got a three year old and a two year old, two little girls. Hey. They both might as well be boys, they're proper tomboys, they like the boxing. I was running around punching me. Brilliant. I've been looking through your career. Uh, Last couple of days, um, I know you've got. I know you've had 40 odd fights and you've had six losses, but four of them losses, certain people are saying that should have gone your way. Yeah, I mean, the, um, if we go back to the, the first of the four, I lost to Adam Lamar in prize fight. No, no arguments yeah, yeah. there. Dave Ryan, you know, it was a close fight. I was down twice. Once in first, once in second for Commonwealth title, or 2014 or whatever. Yeah. You know, at the end of that fight, I couldn't argue. But you know, watching it back, I felt like I might need it. But like I say, I couldn't really argue with that. Um, the Catrol fight, again, fair decision. Yeah. 
fight. Uh, then I went to Australia, fought, fought Jack Rubaker, pissed it. The other people in Australia who thought he won one than Jack. Because the building didn't they? Yeah. 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 We went to after party, he didn't go, we went to after party. His own sponsors thought he didn't think he won it. I got messages the day after off the referee on Facebook apologising for the decision, saying that he'd asked me if they checked the scorecard. The guy went, I've checked it three times, I can't believe this. Is this the one where the appeal went in? Yeah, we appealed yeah. that, but that's not what happened to that anyway. Yeah. Um, then I boxed Liam Taylor again, I just I thought I'd done enough to win that. And then I boxed Echo Westman for the English title match this year. And, yeah. I mean, you know, everyone there thought I won. But, you know, when the one thing that gets me, when you talk to a fighter in the ring after the fall, yeah. If you think you've won the fight, you don't talk about how much you've learned from that fight, no, how no, good experience, no, no, no. and you corner up to all that. Mm. So for all his team of corners to be talking about that tells me they didn't think they'd won that yeah, fight. Yeah. But you know what, you move on from it, you get over it, it's life, it's boxing, that's what happens when you're in the way corner. But you know, we're with Dennis now, we're, we're in the home corner. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm excited to be, have someone who's pushing me again. Yeah, yeah what Dennis has got, he's got experience attacking kids on that have maybe had a raw deal. Yeah. And uh, going in a different times. direction and trying something different. Yeah. And I think that, I don't think you should have been in an English title fight. I think you're European world level, that's what I personally think. we've just got to get back in. And yeah, I know you can get back in. Again. There'll be better belts to get back in than that. Yeah, one, that's right? it. I know, I mean, I know Dennis works yeah. quite closely with the IBF, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always been my favourite as the red belt, so, you know, <laughs> if we get one of them, no complaints. Yeah. Um, well, you know, but I'm, I'm game, I'll fight anyone. Yeah. You don't have to worry about me not fighting people. Yeah. You know, I'm only going to ever pull out if there's a legitimate reason to pull out. Yeah. You know, and that's not very often that's going to mm. happen. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited and I'm ready to get back in the ring. Right. First, first time I met you, do you remember at Steffi Bulls gym when you were sparring uh, Andy Townend? Yeah. That were a few yeah, years ago, wasn't it? Uh, Townend fighting. Hey, they were, they were two, over two days, if you remember, wasn't it? Do you remember? Yeah. Well, I was, was good sparring, that, I was, wasn't it? Uh, I was fighting Joe Hughes, I think. Yeah, you were knocking everybody out. They were left up here, they were left up here. We're some good spars, me and Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's we're some good uh, sparring, that. But yeah, would you fight Andy again if he stepped up in weight? Andy? Would you fight, no, I know oh. you sparred him, aren't you? But would you have a proper fight with him? I fight anyone. I know you would. You just I said mean, you fight Andy Ruiz. <laughs> So I said Josh Whale wants to fight Canelo and I want to fight Anthony Ruiz. Let's get him over here, we'll do it at Barnsley yeah. or Huddersfield we'll football grounds, you know, yeah. we'll sell it out. <laughs> so your camp's gone alright then, has it? Yeah, yeah it's gone fine. I, mean, I know it's a bit of a cliche, yeah. like, isn't it? But yeah, I mean, what we want initially on the bill from the start, yeah. so it's not been a long yeah. drawn out camp. I'm only doing a six rounder. Yeah. It's a game of um, We've done enough training for it. Yeah. I'm in the gym most of the time anyway, so yeah, it's been fine. No injuries. Were, really? That was the one issue. I just know we're open. I want to pick up it. And there's any niggles that have been bothering me in the last few. Yeah. Uh, we've been all right. Great, then, yeah. uh, how old are you now, Tyrone? Then it's a secret. It's a secret. Is I'm it? 29. 29. So I'm still young. So you say you're 29. You've had 42 fights, is it? Four, I think. 44 fights, and you're 29. So you're very, very experienced. Aren't you? Yeah. And obviously, I mean, did, is it, did your dad used to train Carl Thompson when he did the Muay Thai? Oh, he might have done the Thai did, together, I'm not sure. He never yeah. did it in boxing, but they might have done with the Muay yeah, Thai. He used to train Carl Thompson. He yeah. trained with Oliver Harrison and Humphrey Ali. Harrison and all Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a Thai box. Yeah, because yeah, your dad goes way back, doesn't he? We, we all know. Yeah, I mean, that, that was a bit before my time, that. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so, have you ever thought about doing anything like that other than boxing? I've always said I'd love to do it. I'm like, I've got loads of mates who train Thai. Yeah. Um, but recently I've become friends with a lad from Leeds called Liam Harrison. Yeah. He's an eight times world multi champion. Yeah. Yeah. He flies all over the world doing seminars and that. Yeah. He's, you know, he's, he's, he's massive in yeah. Thai. Yeah. He goes to Thailand, fights in Thailand, the full contact stuff with the elbows, yeah. and he properly. And I'm, you know, I'm watching it, you know, all his clips and stuff, you know, it's brutal. It's, it's an hard sport, but in summer, if I was given a chance, you know, if I could re go do the last 20 years, I'd have loved to have really gone and seen how hard that is. I've done it properly, I've trained it properly, like I'm boxing. Yeah. Give it a go, yeah, definitely. My side of it. It's fun. I get a bit of fun. <laughs> But other than that, you've got no complaints, everything's happy, you're a happy camper, you're looking forward to fighting tomorrow night yep. on Free Sports TV. See ya. Alright then, well listen, all the best. Just you take care, Tyrone, and uh, we look for tomorrow night. Yeah, man. Cheers,